help if I was prepared. Hold on. Totally not prepared. <laughs> I just went live and didn't even do the little sound check connections and all that. What a day. Already. Iris, I gotta clean. It feels like my camera is greasy or something. Hey, Diane. So I'm on a little bit late today because I'm just a little bit late today. Everything is late today. Woke up late. My kids are school late. I'm late. All right. Let me do my little ditty. This is Travel Chat. This is a show where I use my super long commute to talk through my personal development. Um. Woo. To uh. <laughs> To uh, just turn on the camera and tell you what I'm thinking about, tell you what I am doing, and the weird and wacky way that I'm running my life right now, which is awesome. Weird, wacky, and awesome. <sighs> okay, so this is weird, I think, but it's normal for me. October 1st is, hey Mona, seriously low network connection again today? Um... October 1st is like New Year's Day for me. It has been that way for a while. I don't even know. I didn't use a goal set. I mean, I used to plan, but I didn't use a like hardcore goal set until 2018. <clears throat> but I've always thought of October the 1st as like the beginning of something new and better and different. Um, and a lot of So I don't know how this is gonna I don't know how this is gonna work if I keep losing internet connection again today. I'm not sure what's going on. The whole day yesterday was like that, by the way. Um so um a lot of like serious big life events have happened to me at the end of October. So I don't know if it's because I would um start out the month by focusing on like changing my life or big life you know things or you know it may just be excited excitement about the fall when the seasons change and um you know you feel like there's so <clears throat> so much opportunity and a chance to start over and you know it's comfy weather it's almost the holidays all this stuff happens and i think that um not knowing it because you know years before now I wasn't thinking of law of, law of attraction but not doing it intentionally but those good feelings and those good vibes and that excitement about the future has probably attracted like good times at the end of the year um but last year 2018 I know for sure that I was intentional about October the 1st um and I don't know, I just, I treat it like New Year's, not in that, like, I'm drunk and I go to a party and I kiss strangers, not that kind of treating it like New Year's, but more so of, um, which I don't do that on New Year's either, by the way, but more of, um, of thinking of it like it's the beginning of something, and it's October the 1st, so happy beginning of something New Year. <laughs> So, um, I don't know if you have four seasons where you live. We have maybe two seasons. Yeah, we have two seasons here in the Houston area. Um, we have hot like you're walking on the sun. And we have warm like you're walking on earth, but sometimes it snows. And the leaves can change all the way from now until February. It's weird. And yes, we do get snow on the beach every once in a blue moon. Um, but something about fall, just like the day, and Mona, you're local, so you can attest to this, but like the day that you can open up all your windows in your house and just let the breeze just blow on through because it's not freaking humid and it's not too hot. It's a little bit like a crisp um, day and there is a breeze. That's like the best day in the world, right? Like the best day of the year is that day when the season fine like summer's finally over and you can open the windows and just kind of enjoy um the, the wind 
blowing in and just feeling good and being able to go outside. So fall brings a lot of unique opportunities. Um, and um, this year it's like even more it's even more, I want to say super serious, but it's not serious. It's just even more, I'm even more intentional about it because this year I've been setting goals like a mad woman. I have been setting goals like a crazy person and I've been crushing them and crushing them and crushing them just because I set um, big goals and I set small goals. I set digestible goals and I set weekly goals and I set daily goals and it's just been crazy like I'll at the beginning of my day I'll set my intention basically is what it is is when I say okay at the end of today this is what I want to have done or at the end of today this is how I want to feel about my day and then I just work in a way that like pushes me closer to that feeling or that intention and um I do it every single day, even on the weekend. <laughs> so this year is like the year of goals. So now it's October the 1st and it's my new year of goals. And um, I'm setting 90 day goals uh, because it's the last 90 days of the year. Last 90 days of the most amazing year of my life. Last 90 days of 2019. And um, it's been incredible. So I'm feeling like really, um, like grateful super grateful and excited um, about what all I've accomplished in these first nine months and ready to see what month 10 11 and 12 are gonna bring um, and um, <laughs> coincidentally uh, I joined a coaching group that uh, is there's like a lot of kids over here waiting for a bus it's so adorable like I just love school-aged children who are behaving and only in that circumstance because normally I don't like any kids except for my own and sometimes not them um anywho so um it's the I joined this coaching group and the person who leads the group is really you know like-minded and I love this because I'm I'm in like three coaching groups yeah I'm in like three coaching groups and they're all they all are run by people who have similar ideas and goals as me and it makes me feel so happy like I feel like for the first time in my life I found my tribe my people other weird wacky cat lady people I'm not a cat person I'm a dog person but like weird people who think weird things like me it's nice it's good to be among fellow crazy people so anyway so she has this huge group and today she is having a set 90 day goals and there was like homework there was like something to download this um quarterly plan for growth workbook that my daughter actually helped to draw on and i stayed up super late last night which is why i woke up super late today like i stayed up to two in the morning not necessarily just doing this but you know if you if I, I shouldn't say you, but if, if I try to squeeze in any sort of like working on my business in the evening on a weekday, this is what happens. Like I end up really um, staying up very late because once I start, I can't stop. I'm so excited. It jazzes me up. I get so pumped. I'm like working, working, working. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I better go to bed. And I can't go to bed because I'm so excited. And I can could, I could literally, literally stay up all night. I have before sun's coming up alarms going off I'm like what's going on oh yeah I've been up all night um so I did my quarterly plan for growth notebook this is not how she had it sent to us I colored on this me and Gracie colored on this and um just wrote down all my intentions for the last quarter of the year and I wanted to talk to you guys about this today because I think you should do it too I think why not even if you're not starting a business even if you're just raising a family or if you're just single and living your life like you can set some goals for I mean as a single person just living your life if I was doing this back in the day when I had all the time and all the money I would have set some goals as far as how much I would save in these last three years three years last three months because if you're a single person and you're not married and you don't have kids you have a really unique opportunity 
to set the intentions for what you want for the rest of your life. Um, because you're not attached to anything right now that maybe you regret. <laughs> like you're not attached to anything crazy. You are, which everything is changeable. You can always change. But you can set the intention, if it's your desire, to meet the love of your life. And um, you can save you know as much money as you want to because as a single person not married no kids you have you can decide how much you're gonna spend on everything because it's all like you're the only person who has to depend on you you don't have to buy groceries for five people you don't have to you don't have to do anything you can do what you want to do so um, even if you are a married person, kids or no kids, the last 90 days of the year, there's such um, a strong like vibrational opportunity there, meaning it's such a joyous time, like a naturally happy time. It's the end of the year, which means it's time for celebration. It's harvest time. There's um, holiday after holiday after holiday, and they're like big holidays. So these are the holidays that, you know, you get like the most joy and all the good movies are on and all the funniest commercials or not funniest, but like they try to get you to buy stuff. But still, like everything is, there's a whole different mood to, you know, our country at least, because um, we celebrate Christmas here. There's a whole different mood and a whole different feel to the last 90 days of the year. And it's a really good time to milk it, like milk it for all it's worth. Like while the good vibes are flowing, throw in some intentions. And what happens is that the law of attraction will bring to you, this happens all the time, whether you're happy or not, the law of attraction is gonna bring to you what you are putting out there. So if you're upset all the time, or if you're depressed, the law of attraction, you're putting out that sad vibe, the depressed vibe. Law of attraction is basically going to attract things to you to keep you feeling that way. Because it's gonna give you more of the same. More of the same, more of the same. Oh, you're feeling bad? You must like feeling bad. Okay, let me give you more things to feel bad about. That is a law of the universe. That's the way it works. So if you look back at your life and on your, in your patterns, you can see that, man, every time, you know, this kept happening to me over and over again. Well, because you had the same um, thought patterns, you had the same beliefs, you had the same um, vibe. Basically, you had the same vibe all this time. So, I thought I saw my old hairdresser. <laughs> so you um, got the same things over and over. So until you shake up that energy, which is not comfortable, like I always tell people bad things are gonna happen before good things happen. You shake up that energy and all kinds of crazy stuff is gonna happen for like a month and then it's gonna get better and then amazing things are gonna happen. So um, that is what I would say for today, October the 1st, just and do it on paper because paper is magic. Hey Kelly, hi Tamita. Paper is magic. So write down on paper what your goals are for the next 90 days. They don't have to be huge. They don't have to be world changing. You don't have to say, oh my gosh, I waited all this time. Now it's time for me to you know, change my entire life. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just write down some things that you wish would happen. Even if you write it in a story form, write out your story, write out what you want your life to look like in 2020. That's a fun one. That's a super fun one. Oh, sorry guy. Sorry. He's like, peace. <laughs> Oh my gosh, me and the four-way stop, right? Usually I'm like complaining about other people at the four-way stop. Today it was me. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, so a fun one to do, um, which I usually will do on the real New Year's, not my October New Year's, is to just look at 2019 and be excited for what happened, be grateful and thankful, and then write out a story about what I want 2020 to look like in as much detail as you know that flows to me. And um, and then put that away somewhere. And then later, you know, you may come upon it and realize that all your wildest dreams have come true. All right. So, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Tuesday. Wonderful first day of October. Wonderful beginning of fall, beginning of Christmas season. Good vibes all around. And I'm excited to see what happens with you. Please don't forget.
forget to let me know. Be like, hmm, I remember some crazy person telling me to write this down and now it all came true. I wonder who that crazy person was. It was me. If I'm the crazy person who told you to write it down, please let tell me what happens because I am super curious about every, how everything works out. Okay, talk to you later.